Welcome to A New Thing Live. We have something new every day, every week, every hour of the day, and I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Cindy Galley, and I have the opportunity and the privilege and the honor of hosting this brand new show. So we're so glad that you're here. We have an amazing show lined up for you today, talking about mental health awareness and so much more. So I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to pop this down a bit because I feel like I have all this extra space up here. But anyway, you know, we do like to talk about the national holidays and months. And today is World Teen Mental Wellness Day. And so here to join us to talk a little bit about the importance of uh, the teen mental wellness. We've had her on the show before, and she's back for Mo. But it's it's our very own Teen Fashioned Magazine director, Julie Ornelas. Would you welcome Julie to the show? Julie, are you here? I'm here. Hi, friend. Hi, my friend. How are you doing? Good. I love those glasses, by the way. So, so fabulous. Girl, they're from this store called Vogue Me, but it's V-O-O-G-U-E-M-E.com. And these these frames were a dollar, but then you have to build. <laughs> I thought I was a good bargain shopper, but then I met you. And no, I no, no. Yeah, I. you know me. I'm not going to pay full price for many things. Some gets, things I will. She yeah. gets Louis Vuitton at the Goodwill. She's like the only person. <laughs> The goodwill, yes, but the knockoffs, no. Exactly. <laughs> We're so glad to have you on here. Now, I know that this whole conversation, this topic has been burning in your heart for quite some time because we've been talking about it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it kind of stemmed from when I had a conversation with a teenage, a teenager in my life who's near and dear to my life who um, expressed to me, I think it was back in November when we were still... I think when we got that second shutdown, so I live in LA County um, and things are really, really just shut down for us completely. And this teenager, my niece, um, shared with me that she was struggling mentally and I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? So she just went on this complete rap rant and just was telling me you know i just have no friends i i can't talk to anybody and she's not in a house by herself i mean she's got four other siblings that she's with so i just let her talk and i remember just texting cindy like oh my goodness maybe we should include uh, mental health in the magazine we need to write an article about it because i feel like there's so many young kids you know teenagers that are struggling with that if you really think about it i know me the first like six seven months of the pandemic i was like my goodness what do you mean i have to i have to work from home what do you mean i have to homeschool my stepdaughter like what do you what does all this mean and i'm an adult and i had a hard time can you only imagine the teenagers the young kids who don't fully comprehend what's going on but their life is just kind of completely flipped upside down you right. no longer get to hang out with your friends you don't at school if you know you don't lo no longer get to fellowship with them at church you can't go to any of your extracurricular activities and it's just you know a lot of parents too um have to go to work because they breathe open and a lot of these kids are staying home by themselves unfortunately because they have to be homeschooled and they are left at home by themselves in front of a computer or with the device that's connected to the internet that just kind of takes them down these rabbit holes and you know we i know for myself like i've been down that rabbit hole and i'm, I'm like oh my goodness what are you doing but can you imagine a 12 13 14 even a 17 18 year old they're looking at things on the internet you know they may be shut down in whatever state or city they're in and they're looking at somebody else's life and just the thoughts that go through their mind you know yes. it's like they're not necessarily always communicating and saying oh my goodness this is what's going on or this is how i feel but there's triggers you start noticing a change in their behavior you know they're still fully functioning but they're not able to fully do the things with joy you mm -hmm. know they struggle to finish you know schoolwork housework whatever it is they're doing right. it but it's almost like you're forcing them to do it so i just think if we just take some time and really connect with the teenagers in our life and i know text messages are good but i honestly feel like a phone call just makes that difference because when you pick up the phone and you have a conversation with them you can ask those hard questions and you can really get through them and sometimes these kids just need somebody to listen to them you mm -hmm. know it's like sometimes you just got to let them vent and you like after i had that conversation with my niece you know obviously she's 
my niece she's my sister's daughter so i follow up with her and i talk to her i hang out with her and she's just like oh my goodness i feel so much better i just needed to get that off my chest and it's like these kids just need somebody to check up on them and i feel like as parents i think sometimes we get so caught up in what we have going on and we don't realize that we bring some of that stress home and our kids are feeding off of that stress mm. so i think if we can just be a little mindful you know and kind of just check in with our kids but not just like on the surface level but really really check in with them and ask them how they're doing and maybe just listen not don't judge them let them talk and it you can just see so much change in them and i know some parents are busy my sister you know she's a business owner her husband is too they have six kids so if you have a teenager in your life whether it's a friend mm -hmm. a niece a sister whoever it is just check in and make sure that they're okay. And just, if you see any changes in their behavior, you can see it. It's like, if you just listen to the way that they talk, you know that something's wrong. And it's just starting that conversation and letting them talk and letting them know it's okay not to be okay. And I think that that's the thing that's missing now. It's not, we need to allow, even us adults, we mm -hmm. need to be okay not being okay. Like, it's okay if we have an off day. You know, yes. we're human, we can feel those feelings and then just, okay, you know, if you're a believer, you know, like I am, you know, come to the Lord and ask, invite him in, you know, he promises us peace. You so know, he, he wants to be there with us, but we have to be self-aware of what's going on within us and those around us too. I love that. You know, and the, the, the important thing about uh, that emotional, mental, you know, well, uh, mental awareness is that it, it does affect you emotionally. It affects you socially, you know, psychologically, even physically. You know, sometimes when you have when you're off mentally, it affects your physical being. So I love that you're you know passionate about this, and and so just so interesting to me how tomorrow happens to be, you know, uh, National Wellness Day, you know, for mental health for youth. I just think there's something so important about that, especially right now, like what you're saying during the pandemic, you know, even as you were saying that a lot of parents are going to work, I was reminded of a, of a news clip that I saw last week and a mother was arrested for leaving her kids at home and going to work. She was a single mom. And I'm like, what's she supposed to do? What is she supposed to do? If she has to put food on the table, she's a single mom and the kids are not going to school. A lot of kids are not going to school. They're, they're being schooled online. What is she supposed to do? Yeah, and I think a lot of that is just what's going on, especially in California. If you live in California, we, we've had it, I think, really, really rough out here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just really the reality. There's already single parents that struggle just to make it through, but now you throw in a pandemic where you don't know if they were laid off temporarily or what their circumstances are. We've all had circumstances and things that have happened throughout this pandemic. So it's, you know, it's, it's meant it's teenage mental well, uh, awareness day, but it's also good for us adults to check in with ourselves <laughs> yes, and, so, and see, and see where we're at and just, realizing that it's okay it's okay to struggle it's okay to ask for help and i think we need to make it okay to not be okay and make it okay to have people ask for help most people think oh no if i ask for help it's a sign of weakness it's like no it's a strength it's a sign of strength like That's you right. are strong enough to reach out to somebody and tell them hey something's wrong with me but not everybody knows that because in the world that we live in if you ask for help, you're, you're shamed. You know, the internet has this way of making us feel like, oh my goodness, we're supposed to live in this very perfect world where we don't have any troubles or we don't have any real life circumstances. So when you see everybody's highs on your phone or on someone's story, and then you're feeling some type of way, you're like, why would I even say something? Nobody cares, but we need to be that person that truly just is there for people. And you have no idea how some, just checking in a text message, hey, how are you doing? What that can do for someone's life. That's so good. That's so good. And I love that you're incorporating the fact that it, it affects, you know, adults as well. Even though tomorrow it is definitely a youth day, you know, if you're feeling a little bit down or if you're having even trouble sleeping or feeling super anxious or anxiety, you know, there are just even some simple things you can do. Go outside, take a little walk, take a brisk walk, you know, maybe connect with a friend, FaceTime a friend. And I love that you're saying, ask for help. Just say, hey, 
you know, for me, I'd be like, I need prayer. Can, <laughs> can you pray for me? You know, pray with me, pray for me. But there are things that we can do, you know, even eating differently, maybe, you know, eating a little bit better than maybe just all of the fast food of, you know, if a lot of people find themselves just on that fast food wheel, but maybe incorporating some salads or some juice and just things that will help your body uh, wake up and be alert and try to pick it to pick itself back up again. That's so good. And I love that you're saying that, uh, you know, and then if you are experiencing some of that, you know, unhealthy mental space, you know, that might be a sign then that you might need professional help, right? Because it's, it, and it's okay to, and it's okay to admit that. I think it's better to admit that than brushing it under the rug and just acting like, no, 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 I'm fine. But if you're just in this funk and this funk won't go away, you've, you've tried connecting with people or you've taken the walks outside or you are eating a little bit better and you're still finding this dark cloud looming over you. I think that might be a sign that you might need to reach out for professional help. And that is okay, too. I think, I think we need to normalize uh, therapy. Therapy is good. I personally never had it, but I know so many of my friends have. And I wish that I would have had it at a younger age. Thankfully for me, Jesus kind of restored everything. And that's a whole different testimony. But I know so many people that, you know, therapy and I, I don't think that there's an age that where you're too young to get therapy either because if you just start talking about it now you you normalize being able to verbalize problems I know so many people like I'm, I come from a Latino background mm -hmm. I'm first generation in this country you know there was a lot of fear that came with my family you know migrating to the United States from Colombia you know, it's like there, there's all, so much fear and it's like oh my gosh if something's happening you're not talking about that fear you're just kind of brushing it under the rug and it's like you grow up thinking oh my goodness i can't talk about my problems because there's all these other problems going on and it's as, as an adult that i've learned like no you need to talk about those problems you need to let those problems out because if not they're just going to eat you up and it just becomes this you you start making things up you fabricate things in your head that are not real when it's okay you know journaling journaling helps me so much too you know it's good to have people interaction but I think sometimes when you journal and you just write it down, it's like, oh, my God, I let all those thoughts out. And then you read it and you're like, oh, my goodness, I cannot believe that I was holding on to that. You know, even just like journaling is what really helps walking, exercising, like Cindy, you said, FaceTiming a friend. Um, I do think that social media is good and it's bad um, just because, you know, we can go. It, it can just make us just bring this comparison out i'm personally on a social media fast which was supposed to go from three days now we're on three weeks and i didn't realize how much peace there is in like mm -hmm. not looking and comparing or not necessarily comparing but just seeing what other people are doing and it's it's okay to take a break from social media you mm -hmm. can still be social you can still text people you can still call people like let's normalize picking up the phone and talking to people and saying, oh my goodness, let me tell you about my day. And, or if somebody comes to your, you know, to mind, or if the Lord puts somebody in your heart, there's a reason why he puts that person on your mind and on your heart, pick up the phone and just call them. You never know how big of a difference that conversation can make for them. That is so good. I totally, I couldn't agree with you more. And then I know you had some resources that you wanted to share with us as well. Um, for, for sure one, and then I can hit the other one if you wanted to. Yes, so National Institute of Mental Health, um, they have resources available, and it kind of lets you know um, some of the trigger signs as well. And it mm -hmm. gives you points on what you can do if you're feeling that way. And of course, uh, Teen Fashion Magazine, um, teenfashion.com, um, if you're a young woman between the ages of 9 to, I don't know, 35, 40, connect with us we have a resource that we want to get in your hands and we want to connect with you and we want to build a community with you and you know we want to get to know you and get you involved in what we do too yes absolutely you know and if any of you are in crisis or if you know someone that's in crisis also we just want to um just throw out the national suicide prevention lifeline as well because these you know this is a, tr a truly serious topic in conversation and we would never want anyone to feel like they didn't know where to turn but you can also text hello to 741-741 texting hello to 741-741 and that's if you're at that point where 
I just don't know what to do. I need to talk to somebody now. It's two in the morning and I'm, I'm in an urgent situation now. But um, absolutely, you know, Julie, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Yes, the national, um, you know, the NIMH, uh, I think the easier one is just to say go.usa.gov. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one's like nim, nim, nig. <laughs> Is it min, 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 min. <laughs> the tongue twister? Yeah, the National Institute of Mental Health. But I think the easier way to do it is just to say um, to go go dot usa dot gov. And um, thank you so much, Julie, for bringing that. And yes, of course, you know, Teen Fashioned Magazine dot com as well. I know that you have a lot of resources specifically for the young woman. Uh, going to teenfashioned.com. There are a lot of resources there, just ways that you can get involved with online youth groups and, uh, you know, just connecting and reaching out uh, to others that will, you know, pray with you. And other these, these young women are amazing and they're led by Julie and her team. So thank you so much, Julie, for being here, for being a part. We love you. We always love having you here. So we're going to have you back maybe in the summertime. Yeah, after this baby comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, maybe June, July, August. But we'll give you some time to get settled. But we cannot wait to meet her. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to see you again. Well, thank you so much for bringing that to us. Uh, again, just at go.usa.gov for the National Institute of Mental Health. Check up on your kids. If you see symptoms or signs of just them changing, you know, take a minute to stop and really just connect with them and ask them, hey, how are you doing? Like, I know we're in a weird situation in a weird season, but never, never should it be to the point where we can never take the time to stop and ask your kids uh, how they're doing, especially right now. You know, being raised online virtually with all of these games and everything. I mean, this is just a really weird season to me. Now would be the time I would want to grab my kids and be like, what's going on? <laughs> how are you doing? What are you learning? Who are you talking to? How long are you talking to them? All the above that's that's me as an aunt i'm like let me let me let me see your phone i'm like who who, who who's on there and i you know and it's it's yeah. it's, ra it's better to be safe than sorry because right. sometimes we think you know it, it can't happen to my kid my kid is fine she's totally normal he looks totally fine yeah. and in reality it's like there's so much going on in these kids minds and it's like we need to really just check in and, you know, and do it away from distractions and just come with your whole heart ready to listen to whatever it is that they need to say. Because our kids need us. Yes. And they are, they are looking for someone to talk to and why not let it be us? Amen. Yes and amen, girl. Well, thank you so much. We always love having you. Say hello to your family and we will, we will have you back in the summertime. Okay. Love, love you. you and baby girl. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Well, that was so good. And also we're, we're putting up on the screens. Also, you can share, share this information. We will have uh, this particular graphic on our uh, Instagram and on our Facebook, on our social media. But you can download and share these informational graphics uh, to help raise awareness, especially re with regards to the adolescent mental health. Uh, and again, go.usa.gov. So that was wonderful. We love having Julie on here. Remember to share the show with your friends. Share the show with your loved ones. If you're watching on YouTube and you've not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell. And if you're on Facebook, we want you to still subscribe to us on YouTube. And just go to YouTube, do a search for A New Thing Live. Hit subscribe. If you need prayer, we're here to pray for you. Hello at a new thing live.com. And of course, check out our website, a new thing live.com. And of course the social medias, but we just always want you to be connected to us. And we are, we're growing every day and this is a new show, but we're having so much fun. But more than that, we love the feedback that we get from every one of you that share the wonderful things that God's done in your heart how you've been strengthened, how you've been encouraged to us. That's what it's all about. So we love you. Hey, remember, there's always a new thing that's waiting and ready just for you and you alone, nobody else, but specifically for you. So have your heart wide open to that new thing. And we'll see you next week on Monday night, live on a new thing. Have a wonderful week.
Are you ready?